Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about primary, secondary, and tertiary sources of information. Uh, so primary sources of information, or also referred to as primary research, is when there's active research conducted directly by a researcher. So a primary source of information means that it's the uh, unique, individually formed source of information uh, that is created right at the moment of the event or whatever it is that that source of information is about. Um, so in research, it would be the researcher collecting and analyzing their own data. So they are actually conducting their own original research. Um, so primary sources of information do not include outside commentary or interpretation uh, from anyone besides the researcher or the original source of that information. Um, so it's the original work that's sharing fresh new information. Um, so this could include theses, uh, dissertations, scholarly journal articles, and so on. Uh, compared to secondary sources of information, this is when another person or organization draws from primary sources of information to summarize, reorganize, or synthesize that information into a new uh, source. So the idea is that you're summarizing or synthesizing that information to add value in some way. Uh, so it could be an analysis of someone else's um, data that they've collected. It could be an analysis of research articles or other previously created works. Um, they might offer commentary, additional analysis, reinterpretation, or uh, add value in some other way to someone else's work or data. Um, so most textbooks fit in this category because most textbooks are drawing on information from a combination of all sorts of primary sources of information. Um, it also includes systematic reviews where authors are collecting and synthesizing the results from many different uh, primary sources into one. Um, and then most student research where you're writing a paper about a topic uh, most of the time, student research is a secondary source um, if you're utilizing primary sources of information to write your paper. Uh, student research papers also can be tertiary sources, which let's switch on over. Um, so student research can also be tertiary sources if you're drawing from secondary sources of information. So let's say a student is writing a research paper about a topic and they're primarily using textbooks as their sources of information, then in that case, the student research paper would be a tertiary source. If the student is using uh, primary sources of information, so they're primarily using uh, research articles as their sources for their paper, then it would be a secondary source. Um, so tertiary sources are summarizing or synthesizing the work of secondary sources. Um, so that can include some textbooks. So if the purpose is to list or summarize ideas in the textbook, um, and so if the textbook is mostly drawing on secondary sources, then that would make that book a tertiary source. Uh, it also can include reference books, encyclopedias, and any source where you're primarily drawing on secondary sources of information, and then they're synthesizing them and adding new value in some way. That would make it a tertiary source of information. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.